Construction in India has more than doubled in the last two years alone. Starting a new business is sometimes not the easiest thing in this country, but Narendra Sand, founder and CEO of Frack Bank Data Centers, has tried his best and he's succeeded. Um, Narendra, thanks for talking to me now. Thanks for having me here. What was the challenge of setting up Frack Bank two years ago? So, um, initially in India, uh, there's a saying, uh, if you are in... Uh, uh, so, I, I belong to a family where, uh, middle class family, everybody's walking at home and you should walk and uh, follow the traditional way, uh, do the study, job and get married and get settled. That's a path uh, for every middle class uh, family. But I'm the first generation entrepreneurs. I started um, uh, my business with... Um, uh, in a school time, my age of 17, I started my business and selling domain Which and was? hosting. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and domain and hosting selling, it's it's like uh, uh, exciting for me that time because in early 2006, mm. and I got to know about the how data center hosting and all those things work, mm. and I'm able to get a lot of money in school time. I dropped out, and uh, uh, your question is, uh, what are the challenges in Indian uh, uh, start or data center startup in India? Yeah. So you'll get a power, but you'll get not pipe. You'll get a pipe, but you'll not get a land mm -hmm. because high capital intensive business. Data center is high capital intensive business, and it is difficult to start uh, as a startup. You'll not find any startup in the world mm -hmm. who is just starting a data center first business. Uh, but this is a exciting challenge which I had and uh, I realized the power pipe and the policy is driven by the government mm. and I approached government and asked them okay can you come up with the data in a park because all the basic amenities should be provided by the government and the government liked the idea and uh, I'm able to start my data center without any investment not much investment mm. and uh, uh, getting customers and all those things every startup had hmm. so it is great uh, but it is difficult other side if you don't so solve this problem so India is a billion uh, population market um, 1.3 billion people hmm. reside so I can say that 1.3 billion problems in India you can get and those uh, those are the challenges and opportunities. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Challenges and opportunities as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But in terms of investors, how did they become your investors? How, what's the conversations like? Were they easy to convince to come to India? Are they even Indian? Are they international? Yeah. So as a startup, you should uh, understand first that what industry uh, you are in and um, what kind of investor you should approach. Initially, I approached the investor who doesn't invest in data center, okay. uh, TMT, but I approached with a software invest, uh, investor who invested in software. Mm. And they said, oh, no, it's a heavy, you change your business model. <laughs> Uh, start cloud services. I, I said no. I don't know cloud. I know data center, right? So because I'm doing it. So um, then uh, we approached the right agency and um, um, right uh, investment banking, and we got the opportunity to interact with the uh, TMT space investors. And investors are a little bit like uh, hesitate to invest in India because India has a risk market. But now in data center is very niche and uh, 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 they are seen as an opportunity mm. uh, to invest in India and uh, they will get a first mover advantage uh, to invest uh, in emerging market. Mm. So I, um, a lot of uh, international P fund and banks are interested now to invest in India. Mm. It's a great opportunity mm. uh, to be in data center market in emerging market. Okay, and then talk about the, the business today. So what have you built, what are you building, what's the plan, where are you going? strategy let's get an overview of yeah, present and yeah, future yeah yeah so it's an exciting market um, uh, India and uh, we have a lot of uh, we've seen a lot of demand is coming up uh, adding um, uh, AI and all all this technology is coming up which is not being served in India hyperscalers only uh, have five percent capacity in India 95 percent outside India so we see a lot of opportunity it's and beside billions of people where uh, half a billion people are online yeah. so I think there's a, a lot of demand coming up and uh, uh, we see that Rag Bank uh, uh, will be a choice of uh, partner for large hyperscale providers mm -hmm. and we are building, we have a tier one strategy where we are building a hyperscale facility uh, 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 starting with Chennai, Mumbai, Pune, Bangalore and Noida mm -hmm. and we have tier two strategy as well. 
Okay. So, so we have a whole range of plans. Did you see? Uh, yeah, 360 okay. degree yeah. for uh, any uh, uh, hyperscale and wholesale. Okay. And where do you want to be in five, ten years? What's the plan? Um, as I mentioned that earlier, well. that uh, uh, Regbank is uh, very excited about mm -hmm. India opportunity, and uh, uh, in five to ten years, we see that um, we'll be uh, uh, number one choice for the hyperscalers in emerging market, mm -hmm. and we'll deploy more than. <laughs> Uh, a good handsome amount, uh, a double digit, uh, mm. I can say that, okay. uh, uh, yeah, a double digit billion mm. in uh, emerging market in 10 years. Okay. Uh, looking at the whole Indian data center market, and we are there at Cloud India 2019 as well, what do you expect that's going to happen very quickly in the next 12, 24 months? Uh, in uh, India? India. Yeah, India uh, in 12 to uh, 24, while we are talking, a lot of data center mm -hmm. operators already make their move toward India, large international companies are looking toward India, international data center operators are coming to India, mm -hmm. and uh, I think in another 12 to 24 months, you'll see uh, tier one, global tier one provider will be in India. Okay. And we see that um, uh, their global demand uh, driving them to come to India. Okay. So we see uh, big names in India and coming 24 months. So we're in an exciting period. Yeah, exciting period. <laughs> okay. yeah. If you could describe the whole future of the data center market in India in one word, what word would you use? It's a giga, gigawatt opportunity. And opportunity, okay. yeah, <laughs> and it's a gigawatt opportunity, mm. and uh, uh, data center operators should look at it and provide high quality data center to the customer. And uh, government should also come up with the policies for data center, mm. uh, which help uh, international player to come to India. Mm. Okay, Narendra, thanks for talking to me. Thank you, thank um, you very much. Don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, and also visit the website on www.data-economy.com.